Okay, we have a rather scary zombie horde descending on us, but we have no means of defence, which seems a little bit unfair. So let's address that now. Uh, we're going to create a new file, and we're going to call this shooting.js. And we'll do a good old export default class and we'll call this shooting and of course we always want a constructor and this will take in a reference to our app and our player and let's assign those to our class like so and we want a bullet speed gonna be quite fast compared to everything else uh, we want an array of bullets because we may have multiple bullets of, on the screen at the same time so we want to keep track of those uh, we want a bullet radius going to be large to start with so we can see it and we're going to have maximum bullets just so we have some uh, control over the number of bullets on the screen right when we fire our bullet we're going to want to create our bullet graphic so we need pixie in here uh, import pixie like so so we'll create our bullet graphic like that we want to start at the player's position because uh, the player is firing the bullet so makes sense luckily we have our player reference here so we can just put its position off like so And we'll create a good old filled in circle. So we need a begin fill. Why not make it a bright blue for the moment, just so we can see it clearly. Going to draw the circle with our bullet radius and then end our fill. Now we want to shoot our bullet off in a particular direction. Now we know we can get this angle from our player rotation because we calculated that back in player so I think we can do something like
something like that where we can derive a direction vector using that angle and it'd be fun to see if that works so we want to push this bullet onto our array of bullets because that's how we're tracking each bullet and then we will add the bullet to our stage so we can actually see it so that's firing the bullet but we want to uh, trigger that firing somehow and if you think about it when you're holding the mouse down it'd be good if it just uh, shot as quickly as it can we don't want to be uh, culpable for any RSI in our players fingers so let's create a shooting setter which is set to true we're going to fire our gun but we're also going to set interval with an arrow function that triggers fire and we do that every 500 milliseconds if shooting set to false then we want to stop firing so we need to clear interval on that interval okay so the last piece of the puzzle that we need is a good old update method and this will go for every single one of our bullets so for each and we do b dot position dot set I'm going to set it to the current position of the bullet plus the velocity Okay, so we need somewhere to call this update and somewhere to set shooting to true or false depending on the mouse click. And I think the most sensible place to do it is in player because player is doing the shooting. So if we come into our update, well, first of all, I guess we need to create our shooting instance. So sensible place to do that is up here so we can do this dot shooting is equal to new shooting and we pass it in app and player but of course player is this because we're inside player and now if we come down into update we kind of want up here to grab this reference to the mouse like that 
then I guess this line can be simplified to that. But the main reason is that we can do now mouse dot buttons and that sends us back the current held down button we only want to do this once when the mouse button changes so we're going to have the this uh, this last mouse button which will track that which we can just put up here right above here set it to zero and then in here we can just say this dot shooting dot shoot is equal to mouse dot buttons zero and let's not forget that every update we we have to call shooting dot update and that shooting up dot update does does the uh, bullet updates so let's just check that ah the other thing we haven't done here is set the last mouse button equal to mouse dot buttons like that okay it's going to be fun to see if this works let's have a look Ah, so we've got our <laughs> we've got our bullet appearing, but does not seem to be shooting off in any direction. Could be a few reasons for that. Let's try and figure them out. Let's hard code this velocity in to see if that's the problem. So it's the velocity that's the issue. Let's undo that. B dot velocity x b dot velocity y. Let's check what this angle is. This angle is undefined, let's just see why. So we're setting this dot player. Ah, because we've got <laughs> we're setting it on the actual player. So this actually needs to be weirdly dot player dot player. Perfect. <laughs> we just need to change it by, uh, let's think, minus math.pi divided by 2. Let's have a look. Yay! Yeah. Let's get rid of this this here cool so we can just make this a bit bigger so we can see what's going on so cool we can fire at all these zombies <laughs> but it's not making the slightest dent in them so I think we need to sort out that one next